Now we're seeing a lot more solar panels on roofs nowadays and it seems like solar is the way to go in terms of renewable energy. But are there any problems with putting solar panels on roofs? Now with any new technology or new installations, it usually takes a while for problems to appear. And it's very similar with solar panels. We've had solar panels on roofs now for quite a few years and we are now starting to experience problems with solar panels. Now there's nothing wrong with solar panels, it's just that how the solar panels are installed on roofs and the fact is that now we're starting to get maintenance problems with solar panels on roofs. So what are these problems that we are experiencing? Now we'll look at tile roofs first and then we'll look at metal roofs. There are generally more problems with tile roofs than there are with metal roofs and that's what we're going to have a look at first. So here we see a typical installation on a tile roof. We've got a solar panel and we've got the tiles. This is the uh, rafter and we've got the batten. Now, for those of us who have actually handled a solar panel, you would know that a solar panel is quite light. They're quite large and light. So what happens when you mount them on the roof? They tend to act like a sail. So what you need to do is, it's got to be anchored onto the roof solidly. So the typical way on a tile roof is to use the universal anchor that's used for most tiles. And the anchor is shaped like this. There's a plate that comes up as an L. It comes up, there's a slot in there, and then the panels are then bolted onto that mounting anchor. And because it's a universal mounting anchor, and you've got a varying height between the rafter and the top of the tile, you need to put in a set of packers between the base plate of the anchor and the top of the rafter. And you have to bolt the anchor to the rafter because the rafter is solid. You don't do it onto the battens. So what people do is you've got to put a packer in there and, th and then you put a screw onto the rafter. Most solar panel installers know that that thickness of the packer is quite critical. You've got to get it right because you are applying a lot of pressure here when you put the screw in and if the packer is not thick enough what it'll do is it'll pull the bracket down and actually crack the tile. If the packer is too thick then the bracket sits up high and you've got a gap right underneath between the two tiles. So the packer thickness is quite critical. So the installer would soon know that if he's got the wrong packer, he's got the two problems. Either you've got a gap or you put your screw in and you immediately crack the tile because of the downward pressure. So one, it's critical that you get it right. Now the second thing that happens is that the solar panels are wired into the house. So Somewhere in here, you'll need to put a hole through the tile. And that means you've got to flash around this conduit that goes through the tile and through the sarking. You've got to cut a hole in the sarking and then pull your conduit in. Now, what it means is that as soon as you've got a hole in the sarking, Potentially, if you get any leakage up here, the water goes through the hole in the sarking and comes and you've got a roof leak. The other problem with this conduit is that if that connection is not detailed properly, that can cause a leak. So long term, from a maintenance point of view, what we found is the hole in the sarking is one, how that is flashed to the tile is the second one. So these are the two problems with the conduit that runs through the tile and into the cavity area before it gets 
wired into the panel. Now the other element that causes a lot of problems with solar panel installations over time is that bracket. Bear in mind that that bracket's quite tight onto this roof tile. And with thermal movement, potentially we've seen tiles fail at that point because the brackets has been installed with firm pressure onto the, onto the tile. And when you get movement, you can get more pressure and that cracks the tile. Once the tile is cracked, it's just so hard to find because imagine panels and this cracked tile is right underneath. You can't physically see where the cracked tile is. So what you have to do is take all the solar panels off and investigate. Quite expensive. The other thing with the bracket that happens is that over time you can get a lot of debris build up in here. And what it means is that it stops the flow of water running down the tile. You get blockage and you get water come back in. There's a capillary path that brings the water in as soon as you get some sort of blockage. So during heavy prolonged rain, water comes up the tile and goes into your roof. Now, you can be fortunate if you've got sarking underneath, but then there may be a hole further down for either the conduit or for something else, and you still get water coming. Now this problem is compounded by a couple of things. One, the slope of the roof. As we get tile roofs that are pushing the limit on the pitch and we get lower pitch roofs, it means that water cannot drain away quickly enough and that problem is compounded by roof pitch. The second thing that happens around solar panels, which is now a maintenance issue, is that some panels seem to attract birds and birds love to get in under the panels to lay their nest. And we even have instances where pigeons, which are the, the worst of the lot, they will come in underneath, they will roost and they will leave a lot of pigeon shit under the panels. Very nasty when you try to clean this up, but the Pigeon poop will actually cake the surface of the tile and cause a leak on the upstream edge of the tile if it's a concrete tile roof. And on a terracotta roof where the upstream leak is not as pronounced, the water course lap will get caked and blocked. And that means that the water course leaks on a terracotta tile roof becomes a lot worse and that potentially goes into your roof. So as a recap, with solar panels we are now starting to see a lot of maintenance problems and it means that the solar panel has to come off, we have to do some major work under the panels and then the panels need to be reinstalled. Now, we've got to be aware that the solar panels are actually live all the time. So as they're out there in the sun, they're actually charging up. So you've got to be really careful handling solar panels. So a roof repair under solar panels would potentially involve two trades. The solar panel trade, because you need a solar panel guy to take the panels off. A roofer comes in, does the roofing work, and then the solar guy comes back and puts the panels in. Now, if you know anything about solar panels, you know that the money is made in the initial installation of the panel and wiring up the system and the rebates and so on and so forth. So trying to get a solar panel installer to come back to take the panels off and then put the panels back can be quite difficult to do and can be quite expensive because not a lot of solar guys would want to do that because there's obviously more money in installing new panels. So while tile roofs are the major area of problems with solar panels, you can also have similar problems with metal roofs. Now in our experience, we found that metal roofs 
fare a lot better with solar panels on top. Birds don't generally want to nest on the metal roofs under solar panels for whatever reason. Um, and it tends to have a better self-cleansing action than tile roofs. They're less nooks and crannies to trap rubbish. They don't have this anchor that potentially collects a lot of rubbish and then chokes the whole system up. The solar panel installation on a metal roof is a lot simpler. You've got a metal roof and you don't need to go in and put a bracket that interferes with the action of the metal roof. You don't need to put a hole in here for a bracket simply because the brackets are manufactured to be installed on top of the metal roof. And there are different brackets for the different roof profiles. So if the solar panel installer is doing the right thing, he'll be able to choose the correct bracket for the relevant roof profile, and you will have a relatively easy seal on the top of the metal roof. So on a metal roof, if you've got a corrugated profile, you would mount your bracket right there in the panel, screw in there and run a seal. That is the high point, very little water there, most of the water runs in there. So that's a good detail for a corrugated roof. Now, the problem is that when the roof installers come up with something like a clip dock profile, or a trim deck profile, and they don't invest in the correct anchor. That anchor cannot be mounted there. So what they do is they mount that anchor on the pan. This is one of the worst places to mount a base plate for a solar panel because there's always movement. You break the seal and then you'll get a leak right there. The correct way to do it is there are brackets that are specially made for the clip lock profile and for the trim deck profile that clips onto the rib. There's actually no holes and you do the mount to the, to the solar panel. So that is the correct bracket to use and if that's used then the metal roof will cope a lot better with long-term maintenance issues because there are no holes on the roof. Now that we're seeing a lot more solar panels installed on roofs and knowing about the maintenance impacts on solar panel installations on roofs, especially on tile roofs, let's hope that the solar panel industry ups its game a little bit and come up with a lot better solutions. What I'd like to see is the universal bracket being modified to overcome the two problems, one with excessive pressure and the thermal movement, and two, the fact that we get capillary action overflows on the upstream end of the tile. What they should do is come up with something around that leg of the anchor that is soft or maybe firm, and it's something that can waterproof the junction to prevent water from drifting upstream and also to decrease the downward pressure on that bracket on the top of the tile. Because if we can resolve the stress at that point, both from a structural point of view and the fact that water will travel under the bracket and go into your roof, then you've solved the major problem of the universal bracket. And we can only learn from our mistakes if someone actually shows us what the problems are. So hopefully someone would pick up on this and come up with a better solution for mounting solar panels on tile roofs.